Can we do even better? The city of Issaquah is almost finished with the first multifamily, zero energy, carbon neutral community in the United States. It's called Z Home and it uses 40% of the water that a typical home would use. The typical household uses at least 30% of its water outdoors for irrigation. Z Home's landscaping uses drought tolerant plants that won't require any watering once they're established. High efficiency bathroom faucet aerators reduce water use by 20%, saving more than 4,400 gallons annually. Z Home's high efficiency shower heads use 1.4 gallons per minute rather than the 2.5 gallons per minute required by current building codes, saving more than 3,200 gallons annually. Inefficient toilets are the largest water wasters in the average home. Z Homes dual flush toilets use 31% less water than a standard new toilet. Ten rainwater storage tanks called cisterns store water from the roof of each unit, enough to flush toilets and wash clothes year round with zero need to draw additional water from the supply system. Once the rain harvesting system is in place, the water is free. The Birchie School, an independent elementary school on Capitol Hill in Seattle, just built a new science wing that is projected to be the first living building 2.0 in Washington State. To become certified as a living building, one of the things you have to prove is that you can use all of your own water on site. All of it. The Birchie School Science Wing has achieved net zero water by harvesting rainwater to supply all of the building's needs, including a treatment system for drinking water. Unfortunately, they can't hook it up yet, because according to state law, it's not yet legal to drink the rain. In 2010, the Cascadia Green Building Council launched a campaign to accelerate the adoption of best practices, including changes to state regulations for harvesting rainwater. Go to CascadiaGreenBuildingCouncil.org and click on Research. Toward Net Zero Water, Best Management Practices which describes the integration of closed-loop systems with a focus on rainwater harvesting, graywater reclamation, and on-site wastewater treatment, including composting toilets. Case studies illustrate best-in-class examples of innovative water systems used by actual projects from around the globe. These tools will make it much easier for busy politicians to understand the issues and opportunities when they write new laws.